hi everyone welcome to kitu blogging and in this video i will show you how can fix error in your adsense dashboard so if you just got adsense approval then you must see two type of error one is earning at risk and another one is publish your seller information in google sellers.json file so let's check how you can fix this error so first of all let's fix google seller.json file error so for this you need to click on the action button here or you can directly go to the settings and click on the account information here and here you will see this option seller information visibility so just change it to transparent here and then you need to add your domain name here so if you are running multiple domain then you need to add a primary domain where advertisers will know more about yourself so here i will add the primary domain name here okay i have added the primary domain here here make sure to add the domain only and don't use https or www in the domain so you need to add the bare domain name here like xyz.com or example.com like that and after that it will automatically save the settings and you can easily dismiss this sections and it is showing that due to war in ukraine so this is just a formal warning so dismiss it and here you will see an another option earning at risk so you need to fix your add.txt file so the process is very simple so here you need to click on the fix now button and here you will see this option create a add.txt file for your site so just download that file to your computer and then open that file and then you need to copy all the codes within that file and then you need to go to your blogger settings and here you will see this option crawlers and indexing so just enable custom robot.txt and click on custom robots.txt now you need to paste that code here and click on save changes after that the add.txt will be added to your website and you can verify it by just go to your website so let me just um, log into my website here after log into your website just hit slash and type ads.txt and hit enter and as you can see the code is now shown in the page so in this way you can verify if the add.txt is added to your website properly or not and if you are using wordpress then you can use various plugin like add.txt manager or you can use the add inserter plugin to insert your add.txt file or you can directly edit the file manager of your hosting and directly add the add.txt file to your wordpress website so i recommend you to watch this video how to fix add.txt file issue in wordpress with or without plugin so i hope this video helps you solve two problem one is seller.json file and fix add.txt file and if you have any doubt regarding this then you can ask me in the comment section and if you found this video helpful then make sure to hit the like button thank you